everybody, welcome back to Active Self-Protection Extra. It's Neil out here on the Widener Range doing some gear reviews and I feel like it might be time for round two with the boys from V-Line. Big Tech's Ordnance is my go-to source for accessories for all your defensive and competition firearms. They have great holsters with accessories for concealment and ship fast at great prices. I'm a proud customer and recommend them without hesitation. All right, so before I go too much further into this thing, I wanna make sure that you go over and thank the guys at Big Techs for sponsoring us and helping us uh, do stuff like this to bring cool products to you or different products that may be for you or maybe not for you. Uh, they're not always positive products, uh, reviews that we do, but in some cases they are, and I think this one's a pretty cool one. You've already probably seen the pistol case, the, uh, what was that thing called? The Brute XD that V-Line sent me to do a little bit of testing with. Well, they also sent me this guy. Uh, and this is the tactical closet uh, thing, a uh, safe. Uh, so this is, of course, I've got it laying out here on the table so you can kind of see it. I just pulled this thing out of the box a few minutes ago. I haven't messed with it much. Uh, it weighs about 60 pounds, 63 pounds shipped. Uh, so that's what this thing weighs. It's made out of 14 gauge steel. Of course, it's for a long gun. But the interesting thing here with this one is this is meant to be a recessed into a wall uh, in your tactical closet or in your closet, wherever that is, uh, so that it's out of the way so it's not sticking out uh, uh, so you can get quick access to a firearm or two. This is the two gun model. There's also a one gun model, but let me show you how this works. And, and again, just like the pistol case, there's no electronics, there's no biometrics, there's none of that. It's just this uh, push button thing that you do. And so I'm gonna open this thing up, show you how fast that opens. Now this would typically be ha hanging. So this is gonna swing open. Uh, inside there is some of the hardware for mounting. Uh, they sent me some additional stuff there that so I can actually put this thing up, but I didn't, but but Steph told me that I couldn't take you into our bedroom and show you how this thing works. So, <laughs> so you're just gonna have to take my word for it and understand. Uh, one of the cool things here is there's this Molly uh, board right here so that you can mount your mags or your pistols or whatever that you want right there. Uh, and there's a little tray here for the locking, to cover the locking mechanism and all of that. And then it also comes with another Molly board that you can mount your gun to. So in here are the mounting brackets i'm guessing i watched a video much like what you're doing right now of course he was probably more prepared to deal with this than i am but so yeah so here's our mounting gear so this there's a big one and a small one so of course this goes on the barrel of your rifle or your shotgun this is they, they use this one either way uh it's wide enough to get a, a you know a standard ar with a 30 round mag inserted in here you've got plenty of space so that you can have your optic um depending on your suppressor maybe that should fit it should it's like 63 inches tall but uh mount this one down here to grab onto the bottom of the gun uh you've got some quick access uh, to pull those things out and get your gun out and to wherever the bump in the night is that you need to go figure out. You know, uh, my initial take on this thing is it's pretty heavy duty. I think I said it's 14 gauge steel. If I didn't, I just did. Um, they've thought of most of the things that I think that we need to be concerned about when we're doing this kind of stuff. And when we're, when we're you know, depending on your setup and your location, you may not have space for an extra gun safe to just be sitting out in the open. You might want it to be a little bit more recessed and out of the way, kind of an out of sight, out of mind thing. Uh, and then this locking system uh, doesn't take uh, extra work to do. You, you don't have to have electronics. You don't have to have power to this thing. Um, it's going to open up no matter what, as long as you know the, the code. Uh, and I'll show you kind of how quickly you can do that. Uh, it's a uh, and that thing opens right up. Inside there, there's foam, and, and this has got some more foam pads in it that, that they send as well. I should probably open that up and show you. They sent me some stuff here. I may, once I get this thing all together, I may go if I feel like another project, because who doesn't need another project? Uh, I might go and set up a wall somewhere so that I can kind of show you what this thing looks like upright but yeah so there's some foam boards and pads uh more mounting brackets in here 
and basically it's set up so that you can set the the system up for you and your gun if you're a shotgun guy like i am you might want to set this up for your shotgun the way that you want it so that you can get to it in a hurry if uh, you're an ar guy no harm no foul and maybe you're better than the rest of us i don't know <laughs> at least better than me probably but uh it's gonna work for that as well so i really like this thing so far uh, I'm excited to go tear into a wall in my house and put this thing in. Their video that they show on their website, uh, which is, what is that thing? Uh, VLineIND.com, so VLineIndustries.com. Uh, they're in a new construction area when, <laughs> when they're doing this, so it's probably a whole lot easier if you're doing some new construction. But it looks to me like if you had an orbital tool, you could zip through the through the uh, sheetrock in your closet, get this thing in, mount it up, and you probably have to do a little bit of patchwork. I don't know how handy you are. Um, I know this is something that probably isn't beyond me, and I'm not the handiest guy on the planet, um, but I know how to run an, a saw and a drill. So I feel like if you can do that, you ought to be able to get this thing put in. If you're doing new construction, of course, it's gonna be a piece of cake, and if you wanna leave the wall open, it's gonna be even easier. But I think this seems to me like it's a pretty good option for the bump in the night long gun that you wanna keep in your bedroom where you sleep. Probably a great option. So uh, give this thing a try. Uh, go, go check them out at vlineind.com. Uh, v and see what you think. The thing runs. I think you're you're right around seven fifty to eight hundred dollars shipped to you. So this isn't cheap. It's not gonna. It's not a you know. It's not a hundred dollar gun safe. But if you're using this to hang on to the gun that you're going to protect your life with, I think that's probably a reasonable price. I don't. I don't think. I don't feel like that's out of line in any way, shape, or form. Give this one a try. Take a look at it and let us know what you think. So we're locked right now. So. Yep, so once to the left. Your code, once to the right, and unlocks and swings open. And that's about the size of that thing. So you're gonna be able to put that other molly board back in there, and the thing's gonna work the way that you need it to. So check them out.